Hey, it's Kevin with Sonoclast, and this is the RFD, or Reset for DFAM. It's a Eurorack module that lets you reset the sequencer on a DFAM. You can buy one of your own at the links in the description. Let me show you how it works. So I have the RFD and a Moog DFAM here. I also have a Metropolis that is driving a Make Noise Zero Coast off frame. In case you're unfamiliar with the Metropolis, it has an 8-step sequencer, but each step can be made to run multiple clock cycles, so you can easily create loops that are, that are longer than 8 steps. So in this case, I have a 12-step loop, and this is what it sounds like. And here's the DFAM running by itself. So now I'm going to connect the RFD to the DFAM and the Metropolis so that they play together. So first I'll connect the sync from the Metropolis to the reset on the RFD. Next I'll connect the clock on the Metropolis to the clock input on the RFD. And then finally, there's a jack on the RFD labeled 2 DFAM Advanced Clock. So like it says, I'll connect it to the DFAM's Advanced Clock. Now I hit Run on the DFAM. And now it should be ready to run. Um, the one part that needs to be set is the RFD needs to be synced with the DFAM sequencer so that it knows where to reset to, which step is the reset step. So in order to figure that out, I'm going to run the Metropolis. I'm going to tap the reset button and see where it's resetting right now. So as you saw, it was actually resetting to step 8 on the DFAM. So there's two ways to get it to sync so that the RFD knows which step is the first step. So one way is that you can, when everything's stopped, you can stop the sequencer on the DFAM, and you can advance the number of steps from where it's resetting to to the one that you want it to. So in this case, it's just one step off. So I'm going to hit Advance once, hit Run again, and now it should be in sync so that it resets to step one. So let me show you how that works. So now it's, it's successfully resetting to step one. So the other way that you can get it to reset to step one, let me put it out of sync again. So now it's going to reset to step three because I advanced two, so run. So now, now we see that it's, it's out of sync again, and I want it to reset to step one. So the other way is while everything's running, you can hold down the reset button on the RFD, and that will... And you, when, the moment you press it down, it will the step that it's on, it'll, t it'll mark that step as the reset step. And you keep holding the button for two seconds, and the light will come on steady. And at that point, you know that it's, it's reset to that step. So this is, this is how you do that. So you saw there, I, I started pressing it right when it got to step one, and I held it until this light came on steady, and then now it resets to step one, which is what I wanted. So now it's all set to run, and it'll run 12 steps, and you'll see it runs all the way down here to eight, and then it'll get to four, and then it'll jump back to one, and then down to eight, and then back to four, and then jump back to one. So this is what that sounds like and looks like. So there it is, now they're running in sync, and I can change the pattern length on the Metropolis, and the DFAM will stay in sync with the Metropolis. So now I'm, I'm going to run it, and I'm going to change the, um, the eighth step to pulse, you know, one step at a time more, so that it goes from right now it's 12 steps, it'll go to 13 steps, then 14, then 15, 
and so on. So you can see how it syncs. And you'll see that it runs the full eight and then it'll run a certain part of the next one before jumping back to one. So this is what that's like. See, now it's running 16 steps, so it's actually running 8 twice. So that concludes the demo. Thanks for sticking around. Please like and subscribe and find us on social media at Sonoclast. Of course, more chaotic patching is possible too.